118 years per day. That's how much content is being uploaded onto YouTube. So the stat now is 720 hours of content is being loaded on YouTube per minute, which makes it very hard for YouTubers to get noticed on the platform. It's an intimidating stat, but if you're serious about being seen by your potential audience, then you need to be deliberate and strategic about your content. That means figuring out what's working and what's not. There are plenty of paid tools out there to analyze your channel data. If you don't have the funds and you still need to figure out what can work for your channel, what is working, what is not working, then you need to be a little bit more creative. So let me show you a very simple, no cost way to analyze your channel content with the help of two regularly used tools, Google Sheets and AI, specifically ChatGPT. Now, while a lot of people will use Google Sheets at the drop of a hat with no problem, Apps Script is actually a little bit more intimidating because it is considered programming. And a lot of people have a thing about programming. The best way to bridge what you need and the programming you're going to need to analyze your channel is with ChatGPT. Now, here I am in my YouTube channel. I just created a new sheet called YouTube channel. Now, to get to the app script, you're going to go here. We put it in here. So I'm going to go in here. And as you can see, it's already populated. So before we do anything with this, we're going to get rid of this function and have a completely blank change. We're going to change the name of the project. Now, unlike Google Sheets and all the other Google applications, this doesn't save automatically. So you need to save and name it whenever you make any changes or you're adding anything to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go with um, channel analysis just to name it something. And once I have the, we're going to actually save it first again, save that there. And once I have the actual script to put in here, I'll just copy paste and I'll go through that process. Right now, here I am in ChatGPT. I have come up with a prompt, which I will include in the description that will get you started. It's a template for you to get started on telling ChatGPT the kind of what you want the script to actually do. Now, the instructions for this prompt actually ask ChatGPT to ask me any questions it wants to or it needs to in order to make the best product necessary. So what it's doing here is that it's asking me, for example, can you tell me the exact column headers you have in your YT data? That way it can actually make the script more flexible. So if it does something like this, what you want to do is you actually want to go ahead and download your YouTube data first. Here I am in the analytics in the studio in the analytics section of an old channel that I'm not really using. So we're going to go ahead and go into advanced mode up here in the right corner. And then it'll give you more advanced analytics. Now, if you have a channel that you want to analyze, I recommend that you have the channel for at least 28 to 30 days, and then you can have at least at least one video up there. And you can go from there. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep it. You can actually choose to do, if you have a bigger channel, you can do it for 365 for the lifetime of the channel. All right, and I'm just going to keep it at 28 days. So you go ahead and you download, export the content here. Now you'll have the choice of exporting as a sheet or as a comma separated values. I do CSV because it is easy for me to import into the sheet quickly. If I do the Google Sheets, it doesn't necessarily go into the sheet that I want it to. So I'm just going to stick with what I know. So when you download it from the analysis section, the advanced mode, you're going to get three files. You're going to actually get three files in a zip file. The one you really want is the, ta is the table data. That's the raw data that you're going to an analyze. Just go ahead and just extract and use the table data.csv file. And then you can go from there. So once you've downloaded that table data CSV file, go ahead and import it. So once you've imported it, go ahead and replace the current sheet, which is blank, so it's not a problem. Okay, so here is what the layout is. I like to actually get rid of this total up here because it really just alters the data. So here we have the title. So these are the titles, these are the, the headers that, that ChatGPT wanted from me. So I'm going to go ahead and copy paste this 
into ChatGPT and go through the process of figuring out what else it might need and then getting my app script. Great. So in here we have a well-notated apps script based on the questions it had asked me and the directions I had given it. So we're going to go ahead and copy the code, move this into the app. Tired of spinning your wheels, creating affiliate content that never converts? The Affiliate Hub Kit gives you ready-made templates and tools so you can finally start seeing commissions. Grab it today and stop wasting time. Great. So now it's been copied and now we're going to go ahead and save it and you're going to click run. Now, the first time you actually run an app like this on your sheet, it's going to ask you about this. So just go ahead and do and do review the permissions and go through the process. OK, so once you get into the process of the permissions, it's going to ask you. Google hasn't verified this app and that's fine because, well, you're the one who created it. So go ahead and click advanced. And then go to channel analysis, which is the name of the apps that you, the app script that you created. And that's it. So once you have done the permissions, it'll actually go through and it says the execution is completed, which means that there were no errors. So everything should be fine. Now we're back in the sheet and you can see here that it's created a new menu item called YouTube tools. So go ahead and click that and click analyze data. And it'll actually run the script and output it on a new sheet. Now, this is actually pretty good. If you get in, into any kind of error message, go ahead, copy that, and put it into the chat GPT prompt, and then go ahead and go from there. It's going to take maybe a couple of different iterations, and then you'll get the, the, the code working. A quick note, whenever you're making any kind of adjustment to your app script, make sure that you actually delete the script that was already there, and then copy and paste the new one. Make sure that you ask ChatGPT to give you the full script updated and corrected, um, because there's some people who may not necessarily know where to go in the script to do this, and it might be confusing. So just make sure you let ChatGPT know or whatever you're using to give you the full script with the changes to make it work. Now that you've actually inputted the script and you've run it, and it comes up with this um, data analysis here where you can see, okay, the number of views and the watch time hours and the subscribers that it's gotten based on that. And you can take a look and see which ones are working, which ones are not working. And in this case, the CTR here for this one is actually not low. It's pretty good. The watch time is pretty decent. This could be something where, okay, I might need to make more videos based on what this content is. You can go ahead and edit this, be more along the lines of what you want to see. I'm going to include the prompt to get you guys started in the description, so check on that. But again, this is just a quick way for you to take a look at what your YouTube channel is up to, and you can edit the script however you need in order to see it. Let me show you how I'm using it for my channel. Now, this is a script that I have done. I've actually done one where I've come up with three different modules for the script. I run channel insights, I do keyword analysis, and then I combine the two. So this is something, again, that you can really play around with to figure out how your channel is doing and what you can do to maybe keep doing what's working and then eliminate what isn't going forward. So if you have any questions, drop them in the comments and I will get back to you. And again, thanks for your time and I'll see you in the next video.